boss is in the back. This music is gonna put me to sleep. the dulcet tones of classical piano. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah. I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do. However... Good. Then we are agreed. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. I specialize in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates because let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Sit down. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Dealing with a council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. 
We got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you met an informant who asked for your help, but you talked him out of it. Use you? <laughs> the way I hear it, he was fearing for his life and looking for help. You don't get to ignore your duty when it's inconvenient. Of course, I can understand that. Even so, you deserve some recognition for your compassion and generosity. Thank you. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Free Star Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Makes sense. I reckon he figures he's spent enough time there already. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If I seem strict, it's because I'm protecting the integrity of the Freestar Rangers.
But I'll give credit where it's due. You're a hell of a pilot. You came here seeking justice. It's waiting for you inside.
cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Freestar Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the first cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards, or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding.
about justice for my soldiers. Minutes away, minutes from winning the battle and the war. in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. What the hell would you know about glory? <clears throat> that badge gives you power under the law, but it doesn't give you the right to question what I sacrificed for the glory of the Freestar Collective. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watch brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us even when victory was within our grasp. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you. Right now. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, 
I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar Space. The credits were good, but yeah, getting some payback was the real reward. Don't bother. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy. Some ambitious quotas. And you met everyone. Well, good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news. Did you now? Don't keep me in suspense. The disgraced war hero who went to prison and you actually believed him? I see. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Well, I can see you're upset. Allow me to explain. And you'll see that there were very good reasons for what I had to do. The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <gasps> And it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads. And let the f 
farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. Look around you. Everyone in this building, in this town, is depending on me. I provide the jobs that put food on their tables, clothes on their backs, and roofs over their heads. The fact is, the business hasn't been doing well lately. Without drastic action, cuts would become unavoidable. These people work hard for me, and they trust me to do the same in return. I cannot, I will not let them down. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk, and I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and... Return the land to its rightful owners. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm, well, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? Well, I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed. But the future is very much in your hands, Deputy. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation. This company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short.
tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. No, you're wrong. That's not all he was. He always looked out for us, for his employees. No, of course not. But there was more to him than that. He had a genuinely good side, a caring side. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. Hey, deputy. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me for public... Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the Marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? In that case, I won't hold you back any longer. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. 
wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Uh, Way to go! Welcome to the rock, I guess. Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. And hopefully I have some answers. Oh wow, you're serious? Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you really want more info, I'd recommend reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want you to know. Good. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I better do this right. I don't want Yuko breathing down my neck about it. Can I help you? I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. Just waiting on you. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. 
I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's always nice to see the local residents take an interest in us. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. And yes, of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Full disclosure, it's all about making deals with the right people around here. You put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides. You probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. I'd hate to be on Miss Salzo's back. Hotel. That looks like Hi, Hello. thanks for choosing Terra Brew. Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired is what happened. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Oh, Believe me, it's either you or me! You wanna talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what! You get one chance to prove you deserve this job! Change my mind, and I'll walk away! Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. You, you can't be that good. Not yet. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Let's just say, Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, 
I'm just hoping you'll listen to me. Like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Personal. Huh. I suppose that's one way to put it. I know that Tomohigashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew, and before you get any ideas, no, the barista didn't sell you out. Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. Deception aside, some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Well, they do say it's healthy to have goals. So who am I to crush that with reality? I'm promoting you to Junior Operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Uh, me and an entire department at my back. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated.
So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Well, NeuroAMPs for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. For one, our connections with Bayou automatically grant us a slight connection with the Rangers. He has some amount of influence with his seat on the Council of Governors. But our strongest connection is local, with Ranger Price. Yes, you have quite the history with the Free Star Rangers yourself. Which is why I hope you won't be an issue. Let's hope your best is good enough. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We've reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. I suppose an outsider might think that. But we'd prefer to handle incursions like this in-house. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. We also sell a full range of personal training products. The hotel bull line. Sleep with us. Alter your physical makeup. It's time to see yourself. You've been climbing the charts.
What? I'm working here. What do you want to do for the brake litter? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Days, Stop huh? running! If you know what's like good one for of those Freeze! Neon security! Oh, screw it. I'm going to Terrebrew right now. Yeah? I'll go with you. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I, I heard you made quite the scene in the Trade Tower. Something I explicitly told you we wanted to avoid. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Lucky for you, there'll be no docks in pay today. Just try to be more careful in the future. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. And I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here, just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Understood. Everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. Sure, have it. Is something amiss? Yeah, what is it? Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but, well. There's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are clearly a victim of their own success. 
We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. Well, look what's happening right now. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. No, no, that's not it at all. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? Of course not. I am, and always will be, an explorer at heart. My concern is how fundamental the change will be to ourselves as people. We don't even know if you'll remember anything about this conversation. I'm worried what that will mean between us. This goes well beyond the boundaries of simple exploration. As the Chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague and I wouldn't want to lose you. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do as Chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one... Oh, the cost is extremely high. I know. Damn it. I know. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. I... I don't know if I'm ready to make that leap, but knowing we'd be doing it hand in hand would certainly make it more comforting. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. Ah, <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice.
Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. Some of them will, and some of them won't. What happens to them isn't your fault. It's Ron Hope's. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Do you need me for something? Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. I only wish that the United Colonies chose to exterminate the Terramorphs with the experimental microbe, instead of choosing this ridiculous Asili solution. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. <sighs> that was a risky choice you've made. Then you were mistaken. I'm sorry, but I believe that your logic is flawed. The Asili solution will take far too long. Years, perhaps even decades. By then, humankind could be in serious danger. Well, I'm disappointed that you didn't trust the science. Unfortunately, locking away the Lazarus plant instead of eliminating it adds to the risk. Anything that accelerates the Terramorph life cycle should have been completely removed from the equation. Why take the chance? You haven't let me down. You've simply given me cause for concern. I'll tell you what. Let's put this past us, shall we? I'm sure everything will work out in the end. I'm sorry if I've said anything that jeopardizes our working relationship. Can I help? No, it's fine. Go ahead. Very well. Next. Yes, yes, absolutely. Something you need? I thought you'd never ask. Here. Maybe another time. can't be that bad, can it? So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to put the prototypes through their paces. It stays. But you know, stretch trash will come back. Lord, me. Worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and graffiti is the least Yes, hey, if you're looking to browse, you're in the wrong spot.
let's uh, stay away from Epside. The locals there don't exactly appreciate the tourists. Oh, I can't imagine being forced to spend my days doing menial work in an office like this instead of exploring the stars on the bridge of a spacecraft. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Don't get too comfortable. Those who do usually don't last long in this field. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Welcome to the Ryujin. Newer amps mostly. Same as always. Have a good one. I don't want to hear any complaints. I can't believe Ron Hope's dead. Keep I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Idealistic and perhaps a bit of a dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. Take him down! Loitering. Now move it. Can I help you? Sure, sure. Let me get right on that. If it's an emergency, sounds like you need to make time for those details. I think you're under the wrong impression here. I'm not handing over this card. Easy. We're just talking, right? Here's the card. Just make sure you give it back when you're done. I heard you'd exercise that creative license, only not the way I'd hoped. Got that key card for me? Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. Well, except for your little incident, that'll cost you. Incidents aside, I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. We'll soon find out, won't we? This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Discretion and the Trade Tower in Neon don't exactly go hand in hand. The assignment is pretty easy. 
Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive, it runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she's drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are, Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers, though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much.
As technicians, we handle prep and post -op. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look. It was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. to impress here on business or just out to escape ah same here nothing like a business trip paid in full especially when there is good downtime Ryujin Industries a good guess since we are here in Neon but no Infinity LTD Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Their instability was cited as a pain point but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, Never judge a book by its cover is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Need to 
Just the person I wanted to see. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. That's exceptionally kind of you, Imogene. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. You're not wrong. Believe me. We don't take these assignments lightly. They're also one of few that Masako herself needs to sign off on, and only our most trusted operatives receive them. You just need to plant the Ark and avoid detection. Our technicians will handle the rest, and they're instructed to avoid as much harm as possible. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me.
Hey there, got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astro Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was very pleased with the outcome, so she arranged the bonus through Linden. Apparently you said all the right things when it came to Arthur. Quantum Synergies actually reached out to us to negotiate the potential deal. Why did I have a feeling you'd bring that up? You've still got quite a ways to go, so let's keep it real and get back to basics. You can think of this next assignment as a stepping stone on your way to greatness. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Call it what you want, but it's your job nonetheless. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line star yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught and don't make a mess. we're visiting this star yard. It's doubtful any of us have the credits to afford these overpriced vessels. You got some business here? Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process, but first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind in case you get lost. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star. Oh, 
gorgeous statue. The craftsmanship, it's unparalleled. Can I help you? Don't cause any trouble. Name and appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. You know, if they aren't willing, keep out of my way that leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. There's something I need to talk to no. you about. We can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. Oh, a few incidents here and there, but nothing we can't handle. Right? I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game-changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So, his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So, if you have negotiation skills, use them. Simon's been working with us for years, so he'll pose no threat to you. He's paranoid. Which is why I assume he's never been caught. But his information is typically worth it. Now in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Genie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Oh my god, you corporate types never cease to amuse me. Now I feel like I'm trapped in some kind of spy thriller B-movie. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now you can see. I have something I need to discuss with you. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like raw energy was coursing through your veins? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? 
I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protégé. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Aja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of... Martian landscape. <laughs> Imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. Can't wait to get out of this place. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? Eh, only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of... Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. Oh, that's a bit of a steep price for the information. 
I think you're overreaching. For this little tidbit? <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. This is what you call negotiating? All right, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now? I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the neuro end business. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly, yet very well-paid informant. Here to point you in the right direction. Nice doing business with you. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. He's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell. You should be in the Astro Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy. If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. The same. I could really use some help with my computer. You know I'm not your assistant, right? Wait, you're not? I could have sworn... No, sir. I am the company psychologist. Same as last time you asked. <laughs> right. I knew that. Uh, keep up the good work. I'm a little busy. Can I help you with something? Oh, in that case, go right ahead. I wouldn't want to be causing any sort of security breach. Uh, how long is this going to take? Great. Use the brake. I'll be back in a little bit.
never could get the hang of hacking. I prefer a more direct approach myself. I've been waiting. That took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. into any restricted areas. What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. We need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Good, you're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. We certainly are. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. 
We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta, but she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure, one that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know, in case the information leaks. It concerns me that you don't know. A disruptor is a non-lethal weapon. Our subsidiary, Arboron, makes an excellent one that I'll be issuing you. It will stun your target, giving you a chance to get away. But you'll only have so much time before the effects wear off. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Don't cause any trouble. The cast... The audience just finished Paul. Pushing everything. Keep your hands to yourself. Because if not, consider this area reserved. Oh yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, you know, part of me could find some wiggle room. Uh, Ryujin is my second best long-term client. All right, you win. No wonder Ryujin hired you.
A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ilaro has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. Making things harder for yourself. You're not authorized to be here. I'm holding you for trespassing. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Well, if you say so. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later.
It's messed up when a guy like me is better off than those people carving chasm or working a desk job. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. All of that money at their disposal and a cutting-edge megacorp like Reusion can't prevent a hacker from leeching their data. <laughs> Unbelievable. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. I 
I can be sure because I know my business. But like anything, evidence alone can't tell the full story. The rest is up to you and Dalton to piece together. And don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. Is it done? I hope you realize what your negligence has cost this company. Your orders were to incapacitate or evade security, not go on a killing spree. Touche. At least we've established we're both failures. Now, let's see what sort of data was worth the lives you took. Yeah. was possible, but someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nyx was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind who could pull this off. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Imogene? Mm, she doesn't seem the type. But maybe that's her tactic. If she had me thinking that way, perhaps it proves that she's a master manipulator. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. You have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. I just want to avoid a scene. Sending you keeps the rumor mill at bay. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. I've got my eye on you. This could be the most important thing. I heard about your run-in with Tomo. I hate being stuck in the office. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? Can I help you? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Perhaps we need to get Dalton's permission to relieve ourselves as well. Good lord, this corporation keeps you on a short leash? 
I forgot you're familiar with Neon and Bayou's intricate web of connections. I suppose if you want to be efficient, you could bypass Dalton and go straight to Bayou. You're just cutting out the middleman, right? Word of advice. If you're planning on forgoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? And just why would I grant that kind of permission to you? As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. Provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual benefit would that be? Hmm. I could always use a little more leverage when it comes to Ryujin. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hyper whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, <sighs> kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, a chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? I have a heart. I can't blame a fellow for trying, right? Everything 
Miles tastes a little funny going down. I'm a little busy right now. Bet I have credits to spend. You lost, kiddo. Oh, so you're the one getting special treatment. Don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. Don't worry. She wouldn't be allowed up there either. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. I'm watching you. You try anything, you're dead. No funny business. Well, this amount of firepower is a bit of overkill, wouldn't you say? I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. You're trusting me on this one. Huh. Not to cast doubt on myself, but I fully expected to push my persuasion skills to the limit. I can see Genevieve and Alexis cringing over those words. If you live in Neon long enough, it's not a surprise you'd start to see the darker side. This slate holds the evidence to prove my innocence. I just need you to make sure Dalton sees it. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And I know you don't hear it much around the office, but thanks. So Ularu is the actual culprit. That complicates things. We're going to have to proceed very carefully, or else Dalton might send someone after us. Well, look who's back. Dalton's gonna lose it when he finds out you went to the Syndicate without talking to him. True. Dalton couldn't argue with that. At least he had the good sense to speak to Bayou. So tell me, what did you find out? Inside the Syndicate? That area's off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. Fine. Fine? I won't push. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. out of my way and I'll keep out of Is there something I can help you with? All right. This sounds like a closed door conversation. Just a moment. Shutting the door and engaging locks. <sighs> I 
There. Now, is this some sort of joke? I thought Dalton was conducting a real investigation. And just where is this absurd notion coming from? Is this a game? I wasn't aware. Oh, that would only be the case if your accusation held any merit. Oh, sure. And I just take your word for it. I don't think so. It is a horrible thing when such well-made plans can't be shared. Looks like someone's been brushing up on their corporate skills. Fine. Since it's just you and me here, I'll come clean. I leaked Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. But I'm no mole. <laughs> the only traitor to speak of here is Masako. You see, I'm not a mole. I'm an opportunist. And no one is more loyal to Ryujin than I am. Masako, on the other hand, is losing her touch. Ryujin needs strong leadership for what lies ahead. A CEO who can make the hard decisions. Back then, hard decisions were all about screwing people over and white-collar crime. Today, they're more about ensuring success. By any means necessary. So, now that you know... It's time to see how good you are at making hard decisions. With your help, I can take down Masako and make the credits worth your while. So whose side are you on? Masako's or Ryujin's? I'm disappointed in you, Op. And here, I thought you had a good eye for opportunity. Go ahead. I guarantee any evidence you have is circumstantial at best. I've created the perfect scapegoat in Imogene. It'd be your word against mine, and I'm pretty sure the odds are in my favor. We'll see about that. They know how to make a client. Remember, don't let her out of your sight once you find her. So, you're finally back. With no sign of Imogene. And here I thought sending you after her would be a simple task. I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I have a mind to fire you just for that comment. I find it hard to believe Ularu would take the chance to incriminate herself. But if this slate provides indisputable evidence to corroborate your story, well, that's enough proof for me. It will be a relief to reinstate Imogene as well. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Don't cause any trouble. This deal could be huge for my company. do 
Don't wander into any restricted areas. I need that Rothesite if we want to complete the Neuroam. I'm just concerned. Good. You're here. Station was wiped out it's time to put a plan in something. motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. In due time, we don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics, so our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification, designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp... users. Oh yeah, marketing and finance wouldn't have it any other way. No one wants their greatest asset used against them. Once Vina can complete the internal NeuroAmp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. I think implanting that device into your head is a mistake. But it's your choice, not mine. We expect our employees to do whatever it takes to ensure Ryujin's success. Consider this an opportunity, not a risk. Besides, you're in good hands with Vina. As long as you work for us, you don't have a choice. I'm sure I don't have to remind you where the door is if you're not capable of handling this task. You really don't have anything to worry about. The procedure is simple and safe, it's just a matter of getting the right materials. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called Rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the Rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karen Station. Correct. The updates have been regular up until now. Last we heard, the shipment was ahead of schedule. We need you to head out there, secure the shipment, and bring it back here so Vina can complete her prototype. And I want to know what happened. We need to take any safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Good. Feel free to deal with any resistance however you see fit. The mining station is CM Station RC-1. It's on a moon called Karen A3A in the Karen A system. The shipment should be in the research and control tower, but the outside doors are kept locked down. This keycard will let you enter the mines so you can access the tower from the inside. Good luck. We can't lose that shipment. Don't worry, we'll figure it out and get that shipment back.
have anything valuable?
discuss with you. Hey there. This area's off limits, authorized personnel only. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Fine, I'll issue you an access card. Infinity better get it together. Sean, I don't want to go over this again. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. In that case, you'll want to speak to Dr. Lane. We better get that approval soon. Excuse me, but this is a restricted area. You need to leave. Uh, your timing could be better. A little warning next time? I'll just take a moment to check up on my patient. to catch you in the office. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now, I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC-1? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? Human trials? Without even completing his product? Ugh, Lucas must be insane. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died. And you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. It certainly is. 
And it's also time to inform the rest of the board on the current situation. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the Mole's identity. I've called a meeting and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. <sighs> yeah? You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed, because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. Ah, because of my lack of foresight, all I ended up with was a shattered division and a bunch of excuses. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't, not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped, it really did. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. I had a feeling Imogene wasn't responsible. <sighs> that poor woman. Indeed. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. 
While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Must that poor woman's name be continuously dragged through the mud? These nonsensical decisions need to stop. I agree. But others may see the decision as irrational without adequate proof. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. I can't imagine a more satisfying ending. Now, let's attend a meeting. all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives. But security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. I'd even go beyond symptom and call it a treat. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the NeuroAmp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. If only there were more... Okay. I have to admit, I'm 
a bit jealous of Ryujin's gorgeous. The fact that the Neuroanth can control and manipulate people against their will is disgusting. The device shouldn't be allowed to exist. Double check those measurements are right. Dehydrated. I suggest. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Oh, don't worry. That's not on the agenda. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Eh, you're gonna be fine. All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. Alright, let's get this party started. Who's finally up? The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? Yep, that's me every morning. But the whole point of this is no visual indication and no adverse side effects. So, sounds like we're on track. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Well, my tech is only a prototype. This is just the beginning. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. by the incredible technology. On the other, I'm terrified what could happen should this fall into the wrong hands. I've never been so divided about something in all my life. Oh my god, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One minute I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. 
I'll be keeping so myself under constant surveillance now. Here anyway. I'm curious wondered. if any other side effects Name may manifest. Name a Ryujin product and someone up here is probably working on it. The Crown Jewel's the Neuroamp division though, obviously. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yeah. Management's gotten pretty... I'll take that as a no on the side effects. And that toy you love so much is very powerful. So use it wisely. Yeah, toy is hardly the word I'd use to describe it. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neuro amp is in total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. I'm on my 12th iteration of this design. Pardon. Excuse me. know how to make a keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours my company's future you can see good now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuro amp it's time to put that tech to work we're sending you into infinity LTD Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Ryujin industries and wish he shall every day while he rots away in prison. All right, Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Nero amp. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know, doesn't hurt them. With tech like that, I can see why you'd want to maintain control of the narrative, though I strongly object to the methods. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Oh, let's just hope this program is as thorough as you say then, and as safe. Now, we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. 
Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. My thoughts exactly. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Well, you're still here, so apparently you didn't need it that bad. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. You and me both. So, any final questions before you go? You have the ability to manipulate others. If someone's in your way, you could get them to move. If someone has a keycard, that means you have a keycard. The possibilities here are really up to you. You'll be restricted to the marketing floor. An appointment is not a free pass. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access, so that's your ticket in either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. Spend no expense on the exec program. Don't cause any trouble. Do you have the program? I'm certain Ularu won't pass up this opportunity. So, let's take a look. hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. First Imogene, now Masako. Ularu keeps using people as rungs on the way up the ladder. Any one of us could be next. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Ularu can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Ularu's guilt. Good. Then let's nail Ularu right to the wall. She deserves everything that's coming her way. Yes. 
And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. I've flown across it's most of the seven systems in all manners of spacecraft. And yet, I still get sick.
Meeting at the office of interest. You can't go in. You just We're lose. close to the action here in New Atlantis. But Prime position dad. to report on he the big me. stories that affect the United States. I hate colonies. to break it to you, but his PA is the one. Can I help you? Cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I came all What's this so called story about? Listen, I might be able to hook you up with some... All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. You are the best! I figured as much. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. <laughs> David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled system. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. Your best is sorely lacking. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation <laughs> where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom, so this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, <coughs> we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. It is the right thing for Ryujin. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Good. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Huh. 
Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal Neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. <laughs> I'll overlook your poorly educated statement. For now. Throwing your competitor a lifeline when they're about to crash and burn hardly seems wise. Uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. I can only imagine the contracts that will be pouring in. We'd almost be literally in control of anything we wanted. Now if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> you operatives really will wear anything. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Your statement confirms my suspicions. As much as Genevieve believes the public perception would boost overall sales, there's no way to know the repercussions of their financials. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? Any insight into what made it successful? Being prepared for anything is a great asset, one that Masako excels at. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. Well, you have my attention. You're preaching to the choir. I have every intention of using it to our full advantage. In fact, I already have an entire marketing campaign in the works and ready to pitch once it's officially approved. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. So much work to do. If you need something, make it quick. I'd like to make sure my arguments are solid before this meeting. You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. If it was anyone other than Infinity, I assure you it would. I do care about people. 
The people at this company. Hmm. I'm starting to understand what you're saying. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Are you trying to add to my stress right now? First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. In an ideal situation, yes. And I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. Hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. Masako is lucky to have you at her disposal, you know? You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That blasted tech. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk. And look what happened. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as I'm fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Ooh, look at that. Your surgical wound's healing like a dream. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I'd be the next Ray Dakaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? I'd like to acquire them, although it won't break my heart if we don't. Faye may have stepped over a line in her attempt to replicate my work, but she's a brilliant engineer. I'm very curious to see what else she may have been working on and dig into her research. Exactly. Not that I want to gloat over it. Maybe just a little. Okay, so Demarcus and I have really been looking forward to it, so fingers crossed this deal goes through. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. Don't wander into any restricted areas.
All right, everyone. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. Legal ramifications are a certainty, but the benefits far outweigh the disadvantages. Arguments? Infinity LTD could be the Pandora's box of financial and legal risks. I simply cannot support an acquisition. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office, and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right, back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. All against? Nay. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? If there's nothing else, this meeting is concluded. I'll be following up with a few of you shortly. So much work to do. If Operation starts to bore you, let me know. You'd make a perfect lab so, for the R&D. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. I suppose it is. Gratitude isn't something you typically hear these days in the corporate world. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. It's well deserved. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. Looks clean. The 
Let's set it down. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. Kaya Patel, our administrator and research director. 28 years in quantum particle physics, or so I'm told. It's beyond me. We'll take the back way up. Easy! 
Easy! What the hell was that? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? What do you mean? Wait, how did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic ob... It's up here. We should... Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Where? Director? Thank you, Ethan. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak? Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. 
Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? Disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and and uh, I thought I'd finally lost it. What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I. <sighs> Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. I'm not sure. 
sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The door sealed. I was safe. From the gas. The fire. Everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh. Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Haha, <laughs> I hear you. All right. Yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. Did you get lost in the hallway? Uh, right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to... 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. 
Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. Hmm. Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the feet back up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. What happened? Are you all right? So, the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right? If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the High Energy Research Lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. It really is just down the hall. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us? Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? Hmm. If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe, you don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day. Yes, what? Tatiana Barakova, station. I can spare. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. 
If there's anything else you need, ask. Hmm. You won't even need a bandage for that. All right. <sighs> Let me see what I can find. What is it now? Excuse me? Perhaps you'd care to try a dead-end medical post on some godforsaken planet in the middle of nowhere, huh? Six-year surgical residency, and I spend my days treating paper cuts and hurt feelings for a bunch of mathematicians and physicists. And now I have to deal with some spacer who thinks they're jumping between universes? Spare me.
Security lockdown is active.
available on designated security terminals.
lockdown has been terminated. You are? Welcome back. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yes, well, that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this, I am curious, though. Why did you decide to stay here, with us? Of course, I'll make sure the Consortium remembers his sacrifice. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience.
Handling those tricky decisions regarding Ryujin must have been difficult. In fact, I'm amazed you were able to deal with them at all. Those types of corporations remind me why I never ventured into business. I can't stand that way of life. Oh, really? Well, let's examine that statement a bit more closely, shall we? Take what Ryujin's doing, for example. Based on your recommendation, they'll be continuing their work on the NeuroAmp technology. How exactly does that absolve them from their immorality? I can't argue that point. But imagine that technology in the wrong hands. Imagine the awful things you could force people to do. It's almost too horrible to contemplate. I suppose I can't completely blame you for that. I'm sure they dazzled you with its advantages. Perhaps next time you'll consider the consequences before buying into that corporate rubbish. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Ata Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. No. This is important. I need to tell you this. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. <sighs> I believe you, but you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. After I checked every section of the ship for wounded crew, I took the other escape shuttle. If I hadn't, I would have died. The Dauntless came apart minutes after I escaped. Bad luck. That sounds familiar. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator Corps going? Well, this time, pushing too hard cost lives. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. 
That's why I'm worried about... us. <laughs> All this nonsense and you still have faith, eh? You really care about me, don't you? You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Are you shooting at ghosts now? here and some grass there and this place might not look so awful.
This silence is getting awkward. I see you've done that before.
You didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the Unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. this ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend.
What are you doing? This still has some value, you know.
So, where to next? So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Honey, I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. I know that, and believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh, what have I done? Ah, all right. Let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown. I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. Look. Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. Walter spends a fortune to maintain them. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But, given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. Given that the Starborn encounters have so far not included any robots, the safe assumption is that I will need to remain behind. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. There must be something. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and 
We're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. <laughs> Maybe one day. For now, I think I'm better off letting Vladimir have that headache. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> And I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Come now. Tip your ear for a moment. Ah, oh, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Ah, uh -huh. I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Really, Walter? There must be something. It's taken Do you care have a second, of. friend? There's nothing to discuss. I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. I know I should be excited, but I can't stop thinking about the fact that the Keeper knew about the unity but chose to keep it hidden. I think I need to look for my answers here in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. I appreciate what you're doing, Walter, but honestly, Let's get a second opinion, oh, sorry. shall we? I was just doing Walter something. and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye, as well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Barrett, for all his antics, was an essential part of this group, and a friend. None of us would be here without the others. We're all incredibly indebted to one another. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah, I know we argue about money all the time. Most of it is in jest, but Occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been, and continues to be, an honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me that I do this. Fair enough. Well... Since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Barrett, and I'd appreciate your input. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? Sounds fitting. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. 
Yes. I think that's right. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh, I just don't know how he does it. Up there all alone for so long. Oh, no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. You know what? I owe you that. Maybe once this all dies down, I'll take another look at our charitable efforts. The streets of Neon sometimes produce a true diamond in the rough. We shouldn't wait for the next one to just fall in our laps, fresh from some mining excursion. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, Bring light into the darkness of the unknown. journey seems to be coming to an end. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? Oh, that was already my plan. If we do not see each other again, then goodbye. I am proud of all that we have accomplished. I have things I wish to discuss with you, when you have time. Hello. I'm up for a little adventure. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. I know. Just bracing for it. Hey, listen, uh... You're probably wondering about Korra. I played it over in my head a thousand times, and... I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but... Even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind... We'd both regret it. <laughs> Glad to know you still got that sense of humor of yours. Okay. Let's get it, huh? The unknown is right over the next bend.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least, not this you. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes Starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. 
a sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Freestar Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for home out there in the stars. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. produces the internal Neuroamp, which becomes the killer device every negotiator, diplomat, and salesperson purchases. When people think of success, they think of Ryujin, whether they want to or not.